Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice draw triangle in which the length of its sides are sin x, sin 2x and sin 3x respectively. Uh, so in this problem uh, we find uh, the value of x or we find the angle uh, of x. So uh, the very first step we are going to do is you first see here this is the right triangle because its one angle is a right angle. So we call uh, this angle is any other angle uh, so that uh, now uh, uh, we know about the right triangle. The side opposite to the right angle is known as its hypotenuse and the side we join these two angles is known as its base and the third side is called the perpendicular or altitude of this right triangle so now uh, we know one thing about uh, the right triangle is that um, the pythagoras theorem is also hold in this type of triangle and we know about the pythagoras theorem uh, it is about this form uh, hypotenuse square equals to base square plus uh, perpendicular square so this is called the hypotenuse the called the pythagoras theorem so now uh, in this diagram we have our hypotenuse is sin 3x base is sin 2x and perpendicular is sin x so we we'll substitute these three values in this uh, nice pythagoras theorem so by substituting the values uh, of h b and p so we obtain here uh, sin of 3x and its whole square equals to sine of 2x and its whole square plus perpendicular is sine x and its whole square. So in the next step uh, we know about uh, trigonometry. So this is the uh, trigonometric identity, uh, triple angle identity. So uh, we know that sine 3x equals to uh, 3 times of uh, sin x minus 4 times of uh, sin cube x. So here we use this nice uh, trigonometric identity formula. And we know that sin 2x equals to 2 times of uh, sin x into cos x and its whole squared plus we have this is sin square x. So here we need some uh, simplifications and, and now First, we open the square of this and we uh, get here 9 times of uh, sine squared x plus 16 times of uh, sine to the power of uh, 6x minus 24 times of uh, sine to the power of 4x and this whole equals to we open the square of this term and we obtain 4 times of uh, sin square x into cos square x and plus uh, sin square x. So here we need uh, some simplification so that uh, we first convert because you see here all the terms is right in, uh, in the form of sin. So that here we convert this cos square into sin and we write it as 4 times of uh, sine square x into we know that cos square x equals to 1 minus sine square x and plus uh, sine square x. So here we multiply this 4 sine square x on both of these terms and we obtain 4 times of sine square x minus 4 times of uh, sine to the power of 4x and plus uh, sine square x. So we know that 4 sin square x plus sin square x equals to 5 times of uh, sin square x minus 4 times of uh, sin to the power of 4x. So in the next step we move all these two terms from right hand side to the left hand side and the terms in the left hand side are 9 sin square x. So we write uh, the terms in the left hand side is 9 times of sin square x plus 16 times of uh, sin to the power of 6x minus 24 times of uh, sine to the power of 4x and we move these two terms in the left hand side and we get 5 times of uh, sine square x and plus 4 times of uh, sine to the power of 4x and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here we add or subtract the like terms and first we have uh, this is the 16 times of uh, sine to the power of uh, 6x this is the highest exponent term and we write it first and after that we have this minus 24 and plus 4 equals to minus 20 
sine to the power of 4x and this is 9 minus 5 equals to plus 4 times of sine square x and this whole equals to 0. And now you see here we have uh, 4 times of sine square x be the common term. So we take it common and we obtain 4 times of sine to the power of 4x minus 5 times of sine square x and plus 1 equals to 0. So here we divide uh, this in two cases so that our first case is uh, we write uh, 4 sine square x equals to 0 and the second case is we write 4 times of sine to the power of 4x minus 5 times of sine squared x plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case we easily get the value of sine x equals to 0. But you see here we have sine x with the perpendicular side of this right triangle. So it is not possible and um, the any side of triangle equals to 0 so that we rejected this case because sin x be the uh, side length of the given triangle and it cannot be 0. So we reject this case and we proceed here this case only and in this case we easily make the factors of this equation and we have the factors of this equation are 4 times of sin to the power of 4x we break the middle term and we write it as minus 4 sin square x minus sin square x plus 1 equals to 0. And here we take common 4 times of sin square x on the first two terms and we obtain sin square x minus 1. And here we take common minus 1 and we get sin square x minus 1 equals to 0. So here we take common sine square x minus 1 and we get 4 times of sine square x minus 1 equals to 0. And now in the next step we again divide this into cases so that our uh, first case is uh, we write 4 times of sine square x minus 1 equals to 0. We call this as equation number 1. And our second case is we have sine square x minus 1 equals to 0 and we call this as equation number 2. And now we further solve these two equations and we easily get the values of x and value of x only. So here first we focus on uh, equation number 2. So we see here from 2 it is sine square x minus 1 and we write this as sine x minus 1 into sine of x plus 1 equals to 0. So we again break this term and we write it as sine x minus 1 equals to 0 and sine of x plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case we have sine x equals to minus 1 and in this case we have a sine of x equals to 1. So if sine of x equals to 0 then this implies that the value of sine 2x equals to 0. But uh, you focus on this diagram and we know that uh, sine 2x be the base and sine x be the perpendicular of uh, this right triangle. It means that sine x and sine 2x be the size length of triangle. So uh, this shows that uh, sine x is negative means that the side length of triangle is negative. So it cannot be possible and we rejected this case. And in this case it shows that the one side of triangle is 0. So it is also not possible and we rejected again this one. And now uh, we proceed our case number 1 and in, in the first case we have 4 sine square x minus 1 equals to 0 and uh, in this case, we further uh, get from equation number 1 is 2 times of sine of x minus 1 into 2 times of sine of x plus 1 equals to 0. So we again divide this in two parts so that our first part is we write sine x minus 1 equals to 0 and the second part is we have 2 sine of x plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case we easily get the value of sin x equals to 1 over 2 and in this case we get the value of sin x equals to minus 1 over 2. So this value is negative so we know that the length cannot be negative and sin x be the side length of triangle so it is not possible and we rejected this case. So 
we can just proceed here this case only and in this case first we find the reference angle so uh, the reference angle is we know that uh, about reference angle it is the angle about first uh, first quadrant so in first quadrant all the angles are positive so we move the sign to the right hand side and we get the sign inverse of 1 over 2 and we know that the sign inverse of 1 over 2 equals to pi over 6 so this is our reference angle and now in first because our sign uh, is uh, uh, sin x is positive sin x is positive and lies in first and second quadrant uh, so in first quadrant our angle is x equals to pi by 6 and in second quadrant our angle is x equals to pi minus theta so we have pi minus pi over 6 so here we easily get the value of x is 5 pi over 6 but here you know that if x equals to 5 pi over 6 so the value of sine 2x is less than 0 if our x is 5 pi over 6 so if it is less than sine 2x is less than 0 it means that one side of triangle is negative so it cannot be possible so we rejected um, this value and we have only one solution of this problem and it is x equals to 5 by x equals to pi over 6 and if we write the general form so it is pi over 6 plus 2k pi and our k belongs to r so these are the only solutions of the given problem and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos